we expected confrontation, uh, you know, white students, this was predominantly a white uh, student body, and by the way, there were 1,500 people that came to that session. It was in the gym. It was packed. Uh, there were people sitting on the floor in front uh, of the stage. And in addition to that, Rosemary Parks, who was the president, was sitting in the front row, middle seat, front row. So everybody was there. Um, and we did expect him to be, uh, as they say, confrontational, but he wasn't. He was really educational. He was going to tell us about who he was, what his beliefs were, and why he had those beliefs. And it was uh, a feeling of a uh, great, actually, leader. He, he could relate to the audience. He loved talking to students, and he actually was speaking at many universities. However, there were many universities who refused to allow him to come. Administration refused to allow him to come to campus. And it's to Barnard's credit that once he had said he was going to come, they actually allowed us to let him come. And I think that's to Barnard's credit, and I think it showed great leadership from Rosemary Parks and the Board of Trustees at the, uh, at the time. But in fact, he is still talking to students, and he talks to students through his autobiography which is now a very popular book on campuses and is commonly read so that his words, his thoughts, his ideals are really still out there for the students to absorb.